Okay, just a quick overlook of what what we came back with on this haul. I bought, I'd say maybe fifty, sixty dollars worth of stuff today. It's a little insane, but hey, you gotta live life a little sometimes, right? So. These are the red bean mochi that I'm not really looking forward to. No. No, 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 no. I'm not a fan of red bean. And I'm like, well, maybe it's not red bean. I don't s Hey. I looked out. It's not red bean. It is, uh, red beets. Rad radish. Okay, now I'm back to being nervous about eating this. Radish and beet mochi. What am I getting myself into? <laughs> okay, now. This is a squid boppis. Is the best I'm gonna guess at what that is. Or what the name, how to say the name. Spicy squid cubes. I like squid. I love spicy, so not nervous about this one. This one sounds like this is gonna be a winner in my book. Uh, squid and squid ink, of course. Again, love squid. Probably gonna like this. I'm probably not gonna eat this today. The same with the other spicy squid cubes. I'm probably gonna save that for another time. Uh, Along with the balut and the preserved duck eggs, I got cooked salted duck eggs. I've never had these kind of duck eggs before. I'm curious. I'm looking forward to these. I don't know if uh, Baron ever tried these before. I thought he bought some kind of salted eggs one time. I'm not sure. But I'm trying these out. Seaweed. Had this before. Like it. This particular brand. I like it. I'm a little awkward like that. I'm a little adventurous in what I eat. So I'm looking a little bit forward to these. Ah. Uh, speaking of stuff I've had before. The preserved eggs. We found them. And uh, the other little Asian, well, it wasn't exactly a little Asian market. There was another Asian market around the corner from the one where the ones we're at. And it looks like the Asian market that was in where the Pakistani place is now. That they had every product I used to buy. They had. They looked like they had the same refrigerator. <laughs> I blame it on you, Evie. I'll, I'll blame it on the cat. Blame it on the cat. Evie, come here, Evie. Anyways, they have the same refrigeration units that the other store had. They have the same counters, the same bakery and dessert stands. They have the same uh, fish tanks. They the same uh, mar uh, the same uh, meat market kind of. Um, Counters, the refrigerated units. Uh, I do believe, and they, of course, it, the one where we used to go to was just called the Asian Market, and this was also called just the Asian Market. So I'm pretty sure it's the same place. If it is, awesome. If it isn't, still awesome because they have the same stuff that I used to get from there. So I'm happy with that. Now these. I'm learning I've been eating these wrong. I saw like on Emily Made in Japan, I saw Mike over from uh, Strictly Dumpling say you don't eat these by themselves, but that's how I've been eating them for years and how I like them. They suggest I'm always making it with kanji, or that's how most how that's how most Chinese and Asians make Preserved duck egg. Now, 
This is another one I'm kind of curious and really interested in getting into. The custard steam buns. Custard dumplings. I'm looking forward to these. I think these are going to be good. And y'all might as well get your laughs and your giggles out already on this one. Fish balls. I'm trying fish balls. <laughs> I'm not that mature, so I'm going to laugh at that too. This is not the most attractive name for your product. Fish balls. Alright. But, hey. I'm going to try that. These. No worries here. Had these before. They were always pretty damn good. Lychee, melon, these two are good, like them, no problem with them, I'm going to throw them in the fridge, have them later, prepared cuttlefish, like prepared squid, I've had this before, love it, uh, I know some people are going to be out there like, oh gross, what are you eating that for, nah, like it, it's good, I like it. I'm gonna eat it. Happy to have it. Pakistani market, which was a whole tool, a whole totally different experience for me. I didn't know what to get. I didn't know what to go for. I just grabbed whatever looked good to me. Or wait, homemade raro biscuits. I think I have these at one of the little Asian markets actually. I think this just fell out of the bag from one of the little Asian markets. This, I'm kind of curious and looking forward to. Not sure what it is, but I guess I'll find out when I eat it, right? Now, the Indian, Pakistani, this market was said it was Indian, Pakistani, and Mediterranean. I'm not too nervous about the stuff. I think I picked stuff that I kind of knew I might like just based on what the ingredients look like, what the stuff looked like. I played it kind of safe there. I'm going to have fried jute samosa. This sounds good. I'm looking forward to trying this one. Looking forward to trying that. Now this stuff. Papadi. So on poppity, looks like a nougat, looks like a nougat candy to me. So, and yeah, that's Baron talking in the background. You can hear him over here. Um, this is the one I'm going to try later. This one I'm looking forward. This one I'm kind of looking forward to because it looks like a nougat candy. So, win. That's what, that looks like a win to me already. These I'm not nervous about at all. Cookies. Cream filled cookies, orange flavor, pineapple flavor. Looking forward to those. I think they're going to be something similar to like basic little vanilla cookies that you get. Bottom. I showed this in the video earlier. Found that there. It's a milk drink. Almond milk drink. I'm curious about this, I've heard of it, and I'm going to try it out. This I'm not nervous about, like again, I said, the Pakistani stuff. This all looks like pretty good standard stuff. Kind of reminds me of other treats, so I'm not worried about it. Now these are kind of interesting, it looks like a giant tortilla sized cookie. I mean not cookie, but cracker. Wheat crisps. Wheat crisps. Uh, this is the plain flavor. I'm going to be trying these later. I think this is curious. Again, it looks like something safe to try that I'm not going to immediately say it's gross. And this is another one, beet flavor. I'm going to try this out as well. Curious of it. I really don't see any reason why I'm going to, to be nervous about eating this stuff. <laughs> good day choco nut cookies this is another thing that looks good it looks interesting 
I'm probably gonna love the shit out of this. I'm looking forward to this.